Criminal justice leaders in Brown County trying to address a growing problem in the system. People reoffending soon after getting out of jail on bond. This afternoon, a third of the people on Brown County's lockup list face charges of bail jumping. Experts now calling into question the tool used by court commissioners to determine just how high an individual's bond should be. In this first alert, Brittany Schmidt tells us about the tool and why experts say it might not be enough. Brown County Court Commissioners can use a tool called a public safety assessment to help determine a suspect's bond. The assessment considers many factors, including a person's risk of reoffending and failure to show up to future hearings. Commissioners do have access to their records and the other information, but the public safety assessment tool is supposed to give them a better idea as to the the likelihood of reoffending. Here is an example of a public safety assessment. Several yes or no answers regarding a person's charges and criminal history. But Brown County Supervisor Keith Denies says it's missing important details. If you look at just one liner, pending charge at the time of offense, yes. Okay. Doesn't say if this person has one pending charge or if they've been previously released and there's four, five, eight pending charges out there. Denies questions whether commissioners are getting enough information to make the best bond decisions. We're looking at the safety of the public. Are these people being correctly, uh, correctly evaluated when they go in front of the court commissioner? Is this tool providing the correct information? so that a good assessment can be made and the proper bond amounts be set um, for the protection of the public. Deny says this is just one issue that needs to be addressed. If bonds are reassessed, but the workload for public defenders continues to increase due to a worker shortage, it could create more delays in the system. It could also lead to overcrowding in jails. Brown County already ships inmates to other counties. It's the old onion analogy is that you start peeling back the layers and there's issue of uh, an issue but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't deal with the problem each problem as we're going forward denies is part of a work group made up of key players on the criminal justice coordinating board to look over the bond assessment tool and see if adjustments are needed a private meeting is scheduled for wednesday afternoon in brown county Brittany schmidt action 2 news